Okay, just talk about uh, first about just getting back to practice, getting ready for the season, which I guess is a couple of weeks away. Absolutely, we uh, we actually scrimmage next week, and the week after we uh, open up with Cathedral. Be a tough opponent for us, but uh, you know we lost 18 seniors, so we're just trying to get it together and uh, get these new kids acclimated to our system and, mm -hmm. and do the best that we can do. Is there a sense this year? I mean, you had a great a great first year, you know, um, year, um, but it didn't kind of end the way you wanted, you know. Everyone says ten and one is 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 not a great record to have, knowing that that one loss is is first round of the playoffs. Right. Is it is there a sense of at least some of the kids who who were on that team and yourself that um, you know you, you have that monkey on your back? You're trying to um, um, improve off that. Absolutely. I mean, it was disappointing for everybody. Um, we we lost to a good Compton Centennial team. We ended up going to the semifinals and losing to the reigning champions by seven points. Um, so, you know, we, we know we lost to a good team, but we should have won that game. We fell. Um, so the kids, you know, our motto this year is 12 to 10, never again. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, we're, we're going to use it for fuel for sure. Now, uh, like you said, you, you, you lost some key players to graduation, especially at, at, at quarterback. You lost your, your senior quarterback to graduation. Who are the guys you, you're looking at? To, to well, right now we've got three guys that are competing for the job. We've got Will Pyburn, 6'5 lefty. Um, going to be a junior. Um, we've got Aaron McCorkle, going to be a sophomore, six-foot uh, young man, pretty right-hander. And then we've got Alec Herity, going to be a junior right-hander. Uh, so we, we've got three kids competing daily. Uh, we will not make the decision as of who's going to be the starter until after our scrimmage. Mm -hmm. who, who are some of the other um, key players you're, you're looking at from this team? Bryce Harvey, um, kid's an exceptional back and corner. Um, Kenny Giles be a nice linebacker, fullback kid. Um, Sean Cal, big 6'3", 215-pound outside linebacker. Um, we've got uh, Jared Aragon in the secondary. Uh, it's going to be big for us. Jordan Gray as a receiver. And, of course, last but not least, Jared Akins, who's got uh, three Division One offers right now. Mm -hmm. um, talk about um, your schedule. Uh, you, know, um, you open up against Cathedral, which... Had a great year last year, and they, they I think they lost their quarterback right. to graduation, but still a, a great team. And it, 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 it 
it looks like your schedule, your not non-league schedule, is is really amped up this year. Right. You know, we we uh, when we got into the dog fight, I felt like we were prepared for a, a close battle. Um, our preseason last year wasn't as strong as I would have liked it to be. Um, so this year, um, I upped that a little bit, and uh, I'd rather get in those tough battles at the beginning of the year, um, as well as you know, if we got to play from behind or take a defeat, I'd like to do that uh, early. Um, and um, is the approach for camp different? That this is your your second year, and, and you know all the players kind of kind of know you. Yeah, I mean it, it's. You'd think they all know me, but we're actually so new because we did lose 18 seniors. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So a lot of these kids are coming up from JV. Uh, we had a couple transfers come in. Um, so just getting everybody to gel. Um, the approach is still, you know, we're going to learn to crawl, then we're going to learn to walk, and then we're going to learn to jog, then we'll learn to run. Um, so we're taking it one day at a time. Okay, Russell, thanks a lot. Good luck on the year. Thank you very much. Well, for, first of all, just talk about um, um, getting back to practice of, uh, you know, with the season coming up in, in, a, in a few weeks. Uh, getting back to practice, just focusing on uh, my ball skills, uh, my routes, just getting ready for the first game. We have a big scrimmage against Highland. I heard they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. So just that's a good prep for uh, our first game, Cathedral. Now I um I asked your coach this and um you guys had a great year last year but it did you know it ended kind of um, early for you guys um, yeah, um is there a lot of motivation this year to try to kind of make up for that? Yeah, I have a pretty uh, sour taste in my mouth. Just revenge, trying to get farther in the playoff. What um is 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 the big thing that you feel personally you have to improve on this year? Uh, personally. Just bringing the team together, be better bonding, taking the team, make, being a leader with a couple other of my teammates. Okay. Um, first of all, just talk about getting back to practice and, and getting ready for the season. Just what are your thoughts? Um, it's great. I just want to – it's cool to be back in pads. So, uh, we're ready to get back at it this season and knock some heads and get ready. Um, a lot of players from last year's um, – Great team, have have graduated. Do you feel a lot of uh, maybe extra pressure trying to trying to fill that role? Um, not really. Uh, I feel like we lost a great amount, but we still have like a a good amount of depth, so we filled the spots pretty easily. And um, talk uh, 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 talk a little about your motivation this year. You know, you had a great year last year, but it ended with that first round playoff loss. Are you guys kind of carrying that with you? Um, this year we're really just focusing on finishing, so uh, getting ready to uh, fight through struggle basically, so getting in the hole and then fighting our way out, so we're trying to move our way farther on in the playoffs and hopefully to change. And um, um, you're going to be one of the, the, the key players on offense, is that going to put a lot of extra pressure for you this year, or you feel um, you're ready for it? Not necessarily, I've kind of been ready for it since sophomore year, so. Uh, it's finally my time to shine, so this is when you get clutch and put in work and work hard in practice, so it translates to them. Well, um, just talk about um, beginning the season again uh, out here um, at practice and, and, and getting ready. Um, it's been tough so far. I'd say a lot harder than I expected. It's way harder than last year. I was out last year due to an injury in the transfer rule, and I'm excited to just be back out here with my teammates and uh, get ready for a big year. Uh -huh. Is that um, extra motivation for you? As as yes. um, you, you saw what how how great the team was last year, and 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 now you get to be a part of it. Yes, yes, it feels great. It hurt to not be a part of it last year, and I'm excited for what we have this year. What do you feel is is your is your role on this team? Um, be a leader as a senior. Be a leader. Um, have the sophomores, juniors, freshmen look up to me and just do a lot better. Well, just talk about what you're expecting from the defense this year. Uh, build on the tradition that we had last year. Um, we're a really aggressive defense. We play a different philosophy over this way, so it gives us an edge against a lot of teams because they're not used to seeing our kind of D. Mm -hmm. So with last year's aggressive D, um, 
we only gave up about what an average of 11 points a game. So we're looking to to be at that level or better this season. Um, we're replacing a lot of people on defense this year, but the good thing is we have some kids that played a lot of time last year. Now they'll step up and be starters this year. So. Uh, Looking forward to seeing how uh, how aggressive we are. Mm -hmm. It's the first week in pads, so you know actually the first defensive, second defensive day. So it's still mm -hmm. early to tell. Mm -hmm.